Well, now that we are into the spring months, I'm sure you're noticing more and more daylight. You're probably also noticing that the sun angle is getting a little bit higher and higher in the sky. Have you ever wondered, is there an easy way to calculate this? And you may be thinking, Kit, please, no math. But I promise this is not so bad. So if you've noticed uh, from January till now, the sun angle continues to get higher and higher in the sky. And it's actually really easy to calculate. It may look a little bit maybe a little bit much here up front, but I promise it is not too bad. So just a fun little experiment that you can do, just pull out the old calculator and the help of Google. So first of all, you need to know your latitude in degrees. Know how far north or south that you're located. For instance, uh, I live in the Tri-Cities area, so we're about 36 and a half degrees north latitude. The second thing you need to know though is the table of sun's declination angle. This is something you can find online. So it's really easy to find. You just basically need to know where that peak sun angle is occurring at 90 degrees. You can find that easily online through one of the tables. Simply take the difference between your latitude, the sun's declination angle, where it's at its highest point, that 90 degree angle between your latitude and that. Then you're going to subtract that total from 90 degrees. So in our case, from 36 and a half, you must subtract negative from 7 degrees north from 36 and a half degrees north. The distance from where the sun actually has peak 90 degree angle, that gives you 29 and a half, and then subtract that from 90, where the sun is actually at its maximum point, and that will give you the final total.